Welcome back to Newswatch 10. For most athletes, their careers end when they graduate from high school. But for 52 local football players, the dream of one day playing professionally lives on. You know the University of Georgia Bulldogs. Now it's time to meet the North Georgia Bulldogs. They're the local minor league professional football team based out of Gordon County. Casey Smith and his dad, Mike, started the team two years ago. Well, I like to call it on a second chance football. We just give people a second chance to play who's either played college, lost college due to injury or whatever it is. Casey was on his way to play college football before he was injured in the Georgia versus Tennessee All-Star football game. Well, when I first found out about the league is when after I got injured. And then, of course, I was rehabbing then and couldn't play. And I was watching a couple teams, watching the league grow. And then after me and my father was just watching it, we was like, well, I think we could do this in this area because this is a football-rich area. So then it all started from there. We had a year of preparing, uh, got sponsors behind us, got the community behind us and everything, and it just went from there. It started, once it started, it was building, it was, it was going. 2007 was the Bulldogs' first year competing in the Southern Football League, a 14-team organization with teams in Alabama, Georgia, and both Carolinas. North Georgia finished second in the league at 9-3, boasting the top offense and the second-ranked defense. Alan Lackey played quarterback last season. He says they're not the most talented team, but their bond makes up for it. We're all like brothers, and, and it's real intense because, you know, each, each and every one of our guys, they go to battle for you. All the rules of the NFL apply in this league. It's 11 on 11 with the same field measurements, timing, and penalties. Head coach Mark Bramblett admits the playbooks may be simpler than college or the NFL, but the dedication is just as strong. The focus that they bring to the table uh, really gets the practices uh, going. We only get to practice once, maybe twice a week, as opposed to college and professional and high school, where that's every day. So we really have to, to get the most we can out of the three and four hours that we're together, and these guys realize that. Casey says the North Georgia Bulldogs are one of the only teams in the SFL without ex-NFL players. Still, the competition level is higher than he's ever experienced. It's a lot different. The hits are a whole lot harder. Um, I've never been hit like I have been in this league. Like in this league, you will get rocked. But um, at practice, it's, it's a lot better because you don't have to teach the fundamentals of how to block, of how to tackle, because by the time you're in this league, if you don't know how to do that, then you're in trouble. So basically, what we try to do is just focus on conditioning and learning plays and stuff. The player's experience ranges from high school to college and a few once got paid to play. These guys don't make any money, but Smith says that's not why he's involved. What I enjoy most, honestly, is seeing people get a second chance to play because like me, when I got injured, I thought my football career was done. I was devastated by that, but what I get more out of just the fact of playing football again is seeing, giving other people a chance to play and helping people go on. Like I'm on, I'm on the emails and phones like all throughout the week with uh, scouts. So like we got a lot of our guys getting looked at by arena leagues and stuff like that. And I just enjoy helping people move on and advance in football. If you've got football fever already and want to see the North Georgia Bulldogs in action, they play at the Gordon County Recreation Center. Their season kicks off at home July 12th at 7 p.m versus the Georgia Payne.